the chat, seeing what questions you have. I also want to share, get the conversation going with the talk about protein. Protein has been a hot topic and I love protein. Uh, as a registered dietitian, you'll hear me talk about it a lot as being fundamental part of our diet. We need protein. It's essential for breaking down into amino acids that are the building blocks for all of our bodies, you know, processes and organs and everything. It's very important for protein synthesis. It's very important if you're following the tube mindset and you're looking for weight loss or your goal is blood sugar control or prevention of chronic diseases, then protein is really helpful because it helps keep you full. It helps regulate blood sugar levels. And so you're always going to hear me recommend it. However, the caveat is the recommendations that are spiraling around social media are out of control. I have so many private clients now that I am meeting who are under this false sense of what, how much protein they should eat. Even people who are really educated and successful with me in the past. One of my clients is a doctor who has been very successful with me in the past. I haven't spoken to her in a year. She told me she, you know, kind of went down the rabbit hole in protein, got to this point where she is following a very common belief system that she should be eating one gram of protein for every pound of body weight. Let me tell you, that doesn't work for most people. I don't know where this came to be. Um, I do see it work for two groups of people. So now, you know, being in this trend for about five months now, uh, there's two kinds of people I've seen this work for. I've seen this work for men. So very fit, active men who are looking to build a lot of muscle, it works for. It also works for 10% of women who have naturally a very good metabolism. So there is this group of women. So I've actually had a few. So that's why I'm not saying this doesn't work for all women, because I know it actually does work for about 10% of women who naturally have a very good metabolism. They really weren't struggling with their weight before. So now they're doing this, you know, high protein situation, and it's helping them perhaps with their body composition. However, for the other 90% of women I'm talking to, this is not helping them. Um, this is not helping them. Their metabolism isn't fast enough to break down all the protein, so they're feeling very stuffed and full all the time. Um, and they're you're, they're actually gaining weight uh, month after month. It's probably not coming on like 10 pounds a month. It's just subtly inching up like three, four pounds a month. And they're not feeling that like slim, energetic, like vibrant self that they're aiming for, even though they're working out a lot and, and eating as healthy as possible. Uh, so I do want to say if you are trying to follow that and it's not working, you're not alone. And I highly recommend following the structure of eating that I recommend more in my to be mindset program for getting a healthy amount of protein at every meal without excess. So you could actually lose the weight. Um, Okay. Hi, Maggie from Atlanta. She's saying that she loves the Lay It Flat book, the spiral bound version of my cookbook. That's amazing. I love it. Um, I also want to share, I have one client who has lost 20 pounds with me since September and had the privilege of doing an in-body scan at her doctor's office. So she went to this doctor's office. They had this like opportunity to get an in-body scan, which does a very thorough analysis of your body weight, your muscle weight, your skeletal weight, your, your water weight, uh, and so forth. And in the last couple of months in September, so we're on like five, six months now, she has not only lost 20 pounds with me and following the 2B mindset principles, but her in-body scan was exceptional. And let me just explain what her doctor said. Her doctor showed her that she lost 20 pounds 19 were fat, one pound was skeletal muscle. How crazy is that? She only lost one pound of muscle and 20 pounds of fat. Do you know how different that is from Ozempic weight loss? I don't know if you guys have been seeing the report on Ozempic weight loss with Ozempic and Wingovi and Munjaro, but we're seeing in a 20 pound weight loss, people are losing a lot more than one pound of muscle. They're losing, you know, several, several pounds of muscle, which is why, you know, that concave, um, you know, like that Ozempic face they're saying and so forth. There's a lot of people are losing muscle, which puts people at a very high risk of weight regain moving forward because muscle aids in metabolism. So 
You do not need to eat excessive amounts of protein. You just want to have protein at each meal. Helps keep you full, helps maintain lean muscle mass while helping you lose weight and not losing muscle, which is so cool and important. All right, so that's my little spiel on that. Now let's get into the questions because I know you guys must have some. Hello, love you, love you, love you. Okay, someone is saying Z-bars, are they a silly carb? I saw you had them as a snack for car rides for my... The caveat is those snacks for the Z-bars were for my kids. Um, so this person asking, if you're not a kid who's running around, then uh, Z-bars are definitely a carb and usually more so a silly carb. Um, you got to check and make sure that it has enough fiber per grams of carbohydrate to qualify for a fiber filled carb. But you always want to have more grams of fiber than sugar. And I don't believe Z bars have that. I showed that I was giving my kids Z bars on a ski trip. And that's because that was like a treat for getting through ski school. I thought I made that, you know, like kind of clear, but my kids really look at it as like, a treat, not necessarily a snack that we keep in the house. Um, so just want to clarify that. Um, okay. So someone is saying, trying to figure out new ways to get protein. I really recommend if you're trying to eat more protein, look at it as all the carbs you're eating in a day and try to find ways for swapping those carbs for better lean proteins, which we probably need more of, especially if like you're sedentary or whatever, or at least equal amounts of, as you see in my plate it method and not using protein to replace all food groups. Because I think that that's what people are doing lately. They're eating so many grams of protein that it's actually like in the case of this one client who I hadn't spoken to in a year and went on this protein bandwagon and started gaining weight, she was replacing protein for vegetables. Like she like wasn't even eating many vegetables. Like all of her snacks were so protein heavy that it was kind of replacing all food groups. I've also seen some people, including women, do the carnivore diet. And they're again, using protein to replace all food groups. That doesn't work. Okay. So you want to be thinking about ways that you could be replacing things that were only carbs into things that have protein in them. So for instance, pasta, if you are eating traditional white pasta now, then it's very easy to swap that for goodles, goodles, high protein, uh, chickpea based pasta that tastes literally identical to white pasta. I'm not going to say that's the case for all bean based pastas. Most bean based pastas taste a little gummy. They do not taste the same. Goodles is fantastic. Um, full disclosure, I'm their nutrition advisor. I'm obsessed. My kids are obsessed too. And so are their picky friends who come for play dates. It literally tastes like white pasta, um, but it has more protein in it because it has chickpeas in it. Uh, same goes with chips. Instead of traditional chips, they make um, chips now, like I like Kibo brand and Quest chips that have protein in it. Same with pancakes. This morning for breakfast, I had Kodiak pancakes. So um, you know, not sponsored on that front. I just love them. They're a high protein pancake. And if you're, if you have my cookbook now, you'll see so many ways where I show you how to get more protein in. So like the cloud breads are ways for enjoying, you know, kind of like a flatbread, but in a way that's pure protein. And then for oatmeal, I show you how to make it a high protein oatmeal. So there are so many protein options. If you're having a sweet tooth, I show you how to make Wonder Whips that are pure protein. So if you are looking for more ways to get protein in a really smart, delicious way, easy, easy recipes, then my new book, Love the Food That Loves You Back, is your best friend. Do you see drinking too much water too late leads to weight gain the next day? Sometimes, sure, but then it usually comes back the following day. And as you can tell, more water, more weight loss. I'm big on the water chain. It's never going to throw you off um, week for week. Okay, next question. Happy Dietitian's Day. Yes, I wanted to share. This is National Nutrition Month. Dietitian Day. It's a very exciting time. Please give the dietitians in your life some love. They can need it. Okay, some other questions. Um, Arsolia says, I turned out caloric deficit is not even that important. I need loads of veggies, fiber, and fermented food. Great call. Is it a problem if you don't eat chicken or turkey for your protein? It's not a problem at all. There's so many different sources of protein, cottage cheese, tofu, tempeh, Greek yogurt, salmon, shrimp, cod, uh, tuna. So you don't have to eat chicken and protein to get the protein you need. You might want to look into getting your labs checked to make sure that you're getting the B vitamins and iron that you need though. Um, what other questions? Someone is asking about hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia means low blood sugar levels. This is typically 
when someone is eating only like simple carbohydrates, so like a lot of white carbs or sugar, not having protein and healthy fats, so having high, high sugar levels, and then you can come crashing down. If you ever heard like a sugar crash, that typically can set someone up for hypoglycemia, low blood sugar levels is sometimes when you either one, don't go too long without eating altogether. But certainly if you're not eating foods higher in fiber, higher in protein and higher in healthy fats to keep your blood sugar levels more regulated so they don't dump as low. Great question. Um, other questions? Other questions? Um, okay, another question on hypoglycemia. We got it. Someone is asking a question about bear bell bars. I don't know. I haven't I haven't um, looked at that. Someone is saying, how much protein should I eat in a day? I really recommend following the 2B Mindset guidelines using my plate it guide. Like, you know, my plates really trying to stick with a good protein source at every meal. Um, I, I love protein. You'll see like in my cookbook, I have so many recipes with Greek yogurt, with egg whites, with tofu, with tempeh, with salmon. You know, there's so many ways. There's chicken, there's meat. There's like so many ways to get in protein. The second I see people start cow calculating, uh, I typically see them go into a rabbit hole of stress, over consuming protein and ending up over consuming calories altogether and not losing weight. So you really don't have to calculate and make yourself crazy. I really don't see that help people. Um, oh, love you guys. What other questions? Um, okay, that question just came up again. And I just answered it. Uh, I love all the drinks. I am a big drink fan. I love drinks. I love drinks. You know, I always say water first, but I do like a water enhancer. You know, I'm obsessed with my Vitapods. I drink so many of them. Spoke to the head researcher and developer. You could have up to seven a day and be healthy and fine because it does not have an excessive amount of sodium and sugar like Athletic Greens does and like Element does and a lot of those other ones. Um, Vitapods is amazing. You can use code Nutrition Babe 15% off. I made them give me a better code because on their website, it already gave a 10% off code. So I was like, come on, you got to give my audience a better code than that. So uh, code Nutrition Babe for 15% off. I love the Hydra, pineapple, watermelon, cotton candy, um, and stay tuned for some new flavors. I'm obsessed with them. They're amazing. They give you the electrolytes you need, the flavor you need for under five calories because if you're having beverages throughout the day, they shouldn't contain a lot of excess calories. Cappuccinos, juices, sodas, like you really got to be mindful with that stuff because if you're like me, you like food. And so we want to be eating our food, not necessarily drinking all this, you know, sugar that we're not even noticing throughout the day, like not paying attention to. Um, have you found a particular workout pairs best with to be mindset? I love body and now the super blocks are all unlocked and it's a lot. I have had many, many, many people tell me that they have lost. I've seen, oh, I just got a testimonial from someone who said that she's down 18 pounds since January 1st doing the to be mindset super block on body along with dig deeper. So you can do a heavy lifting. I've had a lot of people lose a ton of weight doing lift more and, you know, Megan's programs and so forth. Sure thing. And everything else. Personally, I always get the best weight loss results when I do things like walking, Pilates, and yoga and bar. So Elise has a new amazing yoga workout I'm very excited about. Uh, Andrea Rogers has Extend Bar. I love Bar Blend. So those things tend to work best for me because I get a big appetite from other workouts and a big appetite never helps me. Even if I'm, so to speak, burning 500 calories in a workout, I never see a weight loss. If I'm doing anything that's so high intensity that I'm like for cleanse, like I'm exhausted afterwards, I almost always stay at the same weight. Maybe I'm making muscle, but personally it is much better for me to do things like walking and low impact, uh, toning exercises like bar and Pilates, but everyone's different. So you gotta, you gotta do you. Uh, Someone is saying, Mel is saying that she started on January 1st and she's in love with the program. Love you. Um, okay, great question. Someone is saying, tell us about the upcoming healthy wage. I have a weight loss accountability group starting. I've never done one like this in, before. I've had, I've had one more like this. But the cool thing about working with healthy wage, why I was excited to try 
out working with Healthy Wage is they are sponsoring accountability groups. So in the past, I've always run accountability groups where people pledge money to lose weight. And if they hit their goal, they win their money back and more. The cool thing about partnering with Healthy Wage is they're sponsoring a $10,000 challenge. So it's starting on March 17th, I believe, I think right after St. Patrick's Day, please get the link in my bio. It's healthywage.com slash Alana. It's free to join. You don't have to submit your credit card or anything. You could do the 2B Mindset, My Weight Loss Program, or anyone. And when you hit your weight loss goal, a realistic 4% of your body weight in 40 days, super realistic, super attainable, very healthy pace and rate of weight loss, you win money even though you didn't pledge any money. There's no reason why you wouldn't join. Every single person on here should join. There's lit, You have nothing to lose. You're not putting up any money. You're not putting up any credit card information. You literally are just entering the pot, weighing in. And when you hit your goal weight, you win money. And if you don't hit your goal weight, you don't lose anything because you didn't pledge any money. So there's literally no reason not to join my next weight loss accountability group. It's at healthywage.com slash Alana. And I'm going to be hosting live calls kind of like this, but you'll have time to pre-submit questions. I'll have time to kind of filter through those pre-submitted questions, take my time answering them with research and studies and, you know, be more prepared than kind of like this fire alarm system that we have going on now, which is still fun. Um, someone is asking, should I add veggies to my Shakeology for breakfast? I highly recommend adding frozen zucchini. So you take raw zucchini, you slice it up into coins, you keep it in the freezer, you add it to your smoothies like ice. I have some really delicious recipes on how to incorporate stuff like that within my cookbook. Look at these pictures. I mean, hello, delicious. And such an easy way to get in more veggies. And honestly, it just makes it more creamy. Yep. Yum. Okay. Next question. You're an angel for creating the simple way for people to get healthy and know how to eat for life. I love you. Um, I am very, very happy to help. Uh, okay. Next question. Someone's saying... Um, Breakfast ideas that don't include eggs or dairy. In my cookbook, I have a tempeh. Um, I'll show you. It's really delicious, like tempeh BLT. I, I happen to love tempeh, and I also like tofu scrambles. You can season your tofu scramble with paprika and nutritional yeast, and it literally looks like scrambled eggs. So good. If you don't like eggs and dairy, you could also have turkey sausage for breakfast. You could have chicken for breakfast. There's no one saying, like, you know, you can um, smoke salmon is amazing protein at breakfast and so forth. Um, okay. You guys are fantastic. I love doing this. Examples of yummy fiber sources that aren't veggies. Well, you have to be eating vegetables. There's no substitute for vegetables, um, but additional fiber sources in addition to vegetables would be all fiber filled carbohydrates, like the bean based pastas I was talking about. Um, I love beans. Beans are my favorite fiber filled carbohydrate because they contain protein. They contain antioxidants. They're super affordable, like very budget friendly, super versatile, easy to keep in the pantry to whip up into dips like a fava, fava bean dip or spread or hummus or a black bean dip. I love refried black beans. As you guys know, like no one thinks they look good anytime I show them in a video, but they are delicious. So an amazing way to get fiber would be beans. We all need to be consuming more of them. The cultures of the world that consume the most amount of beans tend to be the healthiest, um, have lower rates of chronic diseases, cancers, longer levels of longevity. So like beans are fantastic. Definitely fruit, berries that are low in sugar, high in fiber, amazing source of fiber. Again, more affordable and easier to hang on to them if you buy frozen. So also really good examples of fiber sources that aren't veggies. But again, no substitute for veggies. Definitely make sure that you are eating vegetables every single day, not just not just once in a while. Um, what's the next question? Someone said how to get past the plateau. Two ways to get past the plateau. One is the right plan. So people who started the 2B Mindset Super Block on January 1st, there were over 100,000 people who started on January 1st. I've had literally dozens and dozens of people send in testimonials that they were stuck for so long. And the 2B Mindset Super Block took them right over the hump and got them losing five to 17 pounds in that month. I think I saw an 18 pound in the month even. Obviously, everyone 
goes at their own pace, but it's incredible because it's a day to day video of me coaching you through. A, so it's a four week weight loss plan and you don't fall off track because you literally sign in, watch a five to 10 minute video a day to kind of keep your mindset sharp, give you the tools you need so you can succeed and stick with it. So the 2B Mindset Super Block will absolutely push you past the plateau. If you comment below 2024, 2024, you'll get a link to start it today. Again, it's a four week plan that will push really help guide you in the right direction if you're feeling stuck. And the next thing is accountability. A lot of times if you feel like, oh, I want to lose 10 pounds, but you don't have a deadline, why would you ever hit those five, that 10 pound goal? You're going to keep saying, oh, I'll do it next month. I'll do it on Monday. I'll, I'll, you'll keep pushing it off. So you need a deadline in order to help you stay accountable so you actually succeed. So in that case, I would absolutely positively join my weight loss accountability group because it's free to join. There's no credit card needed to submit it. It's at healthywage.com slash Alana. And you can win a piece of a $10,000 prize when you hit your goal weight. And that alone will keep you motivated when you know that like, oh, wow, I can, you know, win a couple of bucks. If I just stick with it, it really, really helps you succeed. Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. Someone's saying I would like to lose 25 pounds by May 6th. Well, it's March 13th. So it's about a 10 pound a month weight loss. It's about 12 pound a month weight loss in the next two months if you want to lose 25 pounds by May 6th. That puts you at a three pound weight loss per week. That is very aggressive. Um, now, if you are if your starting weight is, you know, over 300 pounds and you're just getting started, it's totally possible and, you know, could be very healthy for you. If you're in the mode where you're maybe under 300 pounds, you're in the twos or the ones or whatever it is, then it might be too aggressive of a goal and might kind of distract you from staying motivated and consistent. So I'd recommend focusing on more of like a two pound a week goal. Um, very realistic. A lot of people in my test groups for the 2B mindset have lost closer to 10 pounds per month, which is closer to two and a half pounds per week. Again, it really depends on your motivation, your starting weight, what you're doing. And the goal really is more so on how are you going to keep it off than how much can you lose in a short period of time. Come on, it's 2024. By this point, we've been like rocking the popularized fad diets now for at least two decades. We all know the lose fast, like lose weight fast, quick thing is a gimmick. It doesn't work. I definitely, you know, help people get incredible results in short periods of time. Like I said, so many people have lost, you know, over 20 pounds with me since January 1st with the super block and private practice within the 2B mindset community from my book and so forth. But like the goal is to keep it off for life. The goal is to not have to do this again. So for the person who wants to lose 25 pounds in the next two months, like what do you want to do on May 7th when that happens? Like, are you ready to gain it all back so you can start the exhaustive process on September 1st? No. Like, would it be so much better for you to lose 15 pounds in the next two months and then lose the next, you know, 10 pounds over the following month and a half and then be able to stay there so that in a year from now, you're maintaining that 25 pound weight loss? Absolutely. This is like the best way to go about it, guys. If you're in this mode of losing weight and gaining it all back, I promise you, it feels so good to maintain your weight, to be able to buy a jacket or a skirt or a belt and be able to wear it five years later when it comes back in season is the best. To have a doctor visits that maintain, you know, like positive results and no like fire alarms going off because there's been such extreme changes that cause inflammation in the body is so helpful, is so positive and, and such a reality that you can achieve. All right. I love you guys so much. Um, someone is saying here, uh, your program is the most realistic plan I've ever followed and it makes maintenance so much easier. Love you so much. Nini is saying cookbook is awesome. Yay. Ash is saying salads when pregnant. Totally. I eat so many salads when pregnant. Um, definitely check out to be pregnant. If you're pregnant, can't recommend that enough. My pregnancy program is, is awesome for helping you get over cravings and and dealing with, you know, a healthy amount of weight gain and nausea and all that good stuff. It really helps. Um, can you marry me? I'm happily married. I appreciate the offer, but um, I'm good to go. All right. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing Wednesday. Happy hump day. Get in my new accountability group. Again, you have nothing to lose. 
check out my cookbook and everything else. You got this. You're rocking it. Also, shout out to the 5816 glasses. They are 15% off for March only. So that's a mindful, code mindful at alanahousewares.com for the 5816 glasses. They're awesome. It's our first time going on sale. So it's nice to take advantage. We wanted to do it for National Nutrition Month to encourage hydration to help you drink so much water so fast. It's so good. Like, just hits right. Hits, hits right. Um, all right. I'll speak to you guys soon. Have a great day.